Let's go. Let's roll. Uh huh. It's your I'm about to take you there. Lightning like Steve McQueen I'm in the fast lane when the light turns green And I built tough, I ain't nothing but grit Cause I made rugged blood, sweat and spit Yeah, like a horse I fly Gonna push yourself in for a bumpy ride I like to play hard, but I work harder And I weather the storm cause I'm built stronger I was born to run I was built to last I was made for speed Cause I was born fast All right, guy, we'll save you for another day. All right, guys, good morning. It is Wednesday morning, and it is a great day as far as weather goes. You can't ask for anything better. Um, today, I'm on Goal Lake. Should be nice. It's nice and glassy out here, and looking forward to catching a bunch of fish and showing you guys, and hopefully there's a monster amongst all those that I'll get. So... Let's get fishing. All right, guys, so Mama Goose and I are out adventuring. We're doing some off-roading over here on the other side of Grant Lake um, towards like the Parker Lake area. We were gonna go to Parker Lake, but the road is washed out ahead, so everybody's hiking from there to get in. But we took a little detour. We're on a trail, and she thinks that this will also take you to the lake, but I'm not so sure about that. We'll see. out of that we keep going it's probably just gonna destroy the trail so rather than push our luck we're gonna probably have to turn around and enjoy where as far as we've gotten so gosh it's so close but if you hug that end you risk it all falling in and caving and that's not good either so all right so again erring on the side of caution and this is a problem when we usually will only go out by ourselves um i'm a hundred percent confident i could have made that between the max tracks there was a giant boulder up ahead of it um i had my shovel but a i don't want to get stuck and that's what was going to happen most likely but i think we could have winched out of it and kept going down the trail because the trailhead to the to parker lake was a hundred yards maybe from there um b there was already a, a huge erosion there so it's not like i was at risk of damaging the trail more so than it was already damaged from the erosion but i think if i would have went for it then i would have caused excessive uh wear and tear on the trail which you know don't need to make more work for these guys um but i know we could have made it i know we could have made it 
So, you know, but because we're by ourselves and I got fishing to do later, I don't want to, I don't want to spend the next three hours digging out and winching and get all muddy. So we're going to continue. We turned around. We're going to go continue to do some other trails, but I'm certainly glad we found this one because despite not making it past that mud area, it's really, really pretty. You got Mono Lake right there. You have Grant Lake over there and you got these snow-capped mountains here to the left and you're, we're surrounded by wildflowers, so. Super bloom in June. Let's go. night we're gonna try it again back here at silver lake um all the fishing's been really slow each little uh fishing escapade produces one to two fish for me so i'm hoping that today's is gonna change so i'm gonna get all uh suited up put my waders on got the float tube up top here as you can see um but uh, we should be in the water within 10 15 minutes and uh, we'll show you what it looks like All right guys, so Thursday night fishing session has officially begun. Not sure what it's going to bring. Hopefully some hopefully some fish and hopefully some big fish, but we're going to be out here for, for a couple hours. At the very least, we get to enjoy this beautiful scenery. I mean, look at this. A little further out, you can see Horse uh Horsetail Falls, which is really cool. But uh overall Regardless of catching fish or not, it's going to be an epic evening, and I'm glad I got a chance to bring you guys along. So, let's get fishing. Yeah. 
So a little further out from here will be in the zone where we can start catching fish. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we got a hit right now, but generally it's a little further out than this. It's still kind of shallow here. But all we're doing right now is we got a, what's called a Denny, Denny Rickards all-purpose nymph. A buddy of mine told me about these about six years ago and they work great for everything. Lake, stream, river. You could just pull it behind the float tube and kick kind of like trolling or you could do what I'm doing and just stripping it ever so gently. Sometimes I'll speed it up, sometimes I'll slow it down, but for the most part the fish know when they want it so you just got to keep mixing it up until you figure out the perfect recipe. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Maybe bright colors do matter. Kind of a big fish. Unless it's false hooked. Come to daddy. You made it easy on me. Easy little guy. As usual, I'm gonna give you the same lecture I give everybody else. It's not even a real fly. There you go. Decent sized fish. And there he goes. All right, give you guys a view of Horsetail Falls as I do a couple strip actions. All right, let's give it one more. Let's see if I can get it on film, getting that hook again. That was pretty nice. It is quite the excitement when you feel that tug. They say the tug is the drug, and I agree. Sometimes when you're fishing, when you're stripping like this, I have a theory I want to share with you guys and anybody who's a fly fisherman, let me know if you believe it's true in the comments, but when you're stripping the line back like this, a lot of times it feels unimpeded, smooth, and no issues. But other times you feel just the slightest resistance as if it's being dragged through weeds or something is interfering with it's gliding through the water and my theory is when you feel that slight resistance on the strip there's a fish nearby kind of breaking up the water and you know making it a little bit of an imperfection so maybe it's not a theory maybe that's a fact and i just never knew it but here i am coming up with it on my own leave a comment if you indeed feel the same way or if you indeed know that to be correct I'd be interested in that. All right, I'm gonna sign off guys. And if and when I get the next one on the line, I'll bring you back live. Oh, we got a good one here, folks. He's a jumper. We'll try to keep the camera in front. He is towing me right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh wow. I'm going to use the reel on this one.
Oh, that's a nice fish. You should have went to bed early. Oh yeah, that's a dinker. Look at that beauty. Holy shiz. All right, calm down. The camera wants to, the people want to see you. That's a nice fish. And he took the hook out himself already. Thank you very much. Let's make sure the pole's safe. It is. And this guy is all of about 18 inches. Wow, he's a big guy. So there he is. Yep, he's right at 18. Oh, he's slippery. Right there, guys. 18 incher. Oh, and he is pissed. Can't say I blame him. All right, well, that's a record for this trip. Three fish, and we're just barely starting to get back to the car, so let's, let's do it again. See if we can get four. That's what I'm talking about. This is like the good old days. All right, so we really didn't do a whole lot of filming today. Today is Friday, the Friday before Father's Day weekend. My daughters are driving up tonight to meet us, which I'm super excited about. Uh, today's kind of been just a uh, Mama Goose and I day. We went up to uh, Twin Lakes, Milano Village, and walked around up there. And boy, it sure makes me uh, miss having the RV on here. And at least having an RV down here in California. It was a really, really pretty campground. It's a great campground. We've never really walked around it. We used to always just stay in Mammoth, but I tell you, if you have an RV and you're looking for a place to go, that's the spot. It's just gorgeous. But there was a lot of Russian water everywhere, um, kind of muddy, but uh, it's gorgeous. So we stopped in Bridgeport after we were done there. We ate some lunch, ran into a couple different subscribers, which was really cool. And now we are headed back to June because right now it's like fish 13 daniel 5 so i got some uh makeup to do and i'm gonna get cracking we're gonna drop mama goose and dolly off unless you want to come with me dear no it's okay so i think they're gonna hang back at the in the room and watch game show network <laughs> <laughs> but this is the view we get to watch on our way back so we'll catch up with you guys in just a little bit Alright guys, so it's Saturday, um, haven't really done a whole lot of filming as far as content goes. I got some shots here and there of places that we've been today, but it's just the five of us doing our little uh, Father's Day weekend thing and I'm so happy that all my girls are with me. In fact, the person behind the camera right now is my youngest daughter, Itsy Bitsy. Hello! My sous chef. So we're just doing some wheeling on the backside of Mammoth, like uh, I guess maybe the front side, Sherwin Creek area. And we're headed off to a trail called the Road to Nowhere. And reports as recent as yesterday says that it's uh, snow and ice, but it's open. So we're going to do a little bit of wheeling. It's almost five o'clock. Uh, we had a late lunch, so we're not in a huge rush to get back up to June or do dinner. So we're uh, taking advantage of being together with both Jeeps and doing some family wheeling. So thought we'd uh, bring you guys along for the ride. Let's get going. Daddy didn't raise no fool, wouldn't let a date a boy until he taught her how. 
without a shoe. Her daddy didn't play no games, wouldn't let her trade her name for a fake I do. Boy, you better know. Shotgun wedding that you're used to The target is you Have you labor Standing all alone at the altar Daddy's daughter got a smith And a wash A pistol that her daddy bought A hidden in a garter And she ain't afraid to use it It's up to you Why you gonna be blood Just blood in the water Cause she can't help All right, guys, so we uh, we stopped here on the trail. We're about two thirds of the way there and it doesn't get any harder, but there's three big rocks in the trail here that I could probably roll out of the way. But between Mama Goose, she's at less than an eighth of a tank and Dolly's not really enjoying the rocking and rolling as you can imagine, so. We're gonna park the Jeeps here in the trail and we're gonna take a walk up a little further to see what's up there. But this is a cool little trail. It's not that hard. Um, Wrangler Sport could probably do it with four low, but uh, we're having a good time. So we're gonna go for a walk and then uh, try to figure out how we're gonna turn around. Mama Goose doing a photo shoot to prove that she actually took her Jeep wheeling. How do you like the wheeling, dear? <laughs> it's fine, but... <laughs> It makes me nervous because you don't let me come on the trail, so... Oh, it's my fault. Well, you're here now. Enjoy it, because it'll be another three years. All right, we're going to get these rigs turned around, let Mama Goose finish her photo shoot, and we'll catch up with you guys in just a little bit. Head for the sun Down. 
Alright, Sunday, June 18th, Father's Day. And what a great weekend it's been for Mama Goose and I. We had our girls come up on Friday. We spent all day with them yesterday and this morning we just kind of had a chill day. And where are we headed at now, dear? We are on our way back home. Yes, we've been away from the house for about nine days, eight days. Yeah. So we're ready to head back. Uh, we're just driving through Independence right now, listening to a little Joe Rogan uh, podcast, which helps us uh, pass the time while we're on these road trips. <laughs> but uh, girls are right behind us, following. In what Jeep, dear? In my Jeep. That you've got all kinds of pictures and videos. Finally got out to play. Uh huh. Yes. So. Keep an eye on weekend. keep an eye on Mama Goose's Instagram. You can see all the <laughs> more Jeep shots. Picks to come. <laughs> yes. So, uh, but uh, it's been a fun eight days. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the videos. But uh, not sure when we're getting out next. I think I'll be headed up to June Lake in the next week or so. Um, just to work. But yeah, just to <laughs> get some work done up there that I've got, and we'll likely do some fishing while I'm up there. So keep an eye on my Instagram for some updates there but overall guys uh, just wanted to say thank you for all the support that you provided recently a lot of you guys since our last couple videos have uh, bought a lot of jerky from us uh, a lot of the Tembo Tusk products every one of those purchases guys really helps support the channel we appreciate it it allows us to do fun trips like this and put out some what I hope is um, decent content and it seems like you guys are enjoying it so uh, thanks so much and if you haven't yet please or if you're interested please buy some more jerky 395junkie.com and breaking news I will be coming up by the time this video is released or right around here I will be announcing our fifth flavor that is going to be hitting my website here in probably the next week or so or by the time this video is out so uh, keep an eye out for that guys and uh, hopefully you guys are getting out there and doing some adventuring yourselves but until the next video happy trails <laughs>